Right, so we're finished up at the rock pools. The blue pools, the blue holes, what's it called? Today we are at Calvary National Park. We are going to see nature's window and we're here nice and early so that we can get the sunrise, aren't we Summer? And avoid those pesky flies. <laughs> I ate a fly. And to hear the birds singing. Yeah, it's really nice. It's not too hot. It's nice and cool. Perfect. Yeah, I like it hot. Hey, and the kids all woke up good, didn't they? Hey, Summer, yeah. say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. So it's 500 meters each way to nature's window, so it's a K return. So that's all the water, and up there is the window, and Dale, and the kids. So we have just watched the sun rise through nature's window. The kids and Dale are still watching it, and they're just, they're looking for animals right now. Um, they think they've seen a kangaroo. Um, but yeah, we came at sunrise, it was beautiful, it was peaceful, we had the entire place to ourselves and there were no flies, which I'm so thrilled about because yesterday I swallowed one and that was a nice experience. Um, but yeah, Summer's a little bit grumpy. Hi Summer! She, she wants to get out and play, but she's a little bit young. There's some um, rocks and edges around here, so I'm not going to let her out and run. So she's a little bit upset about that, but yeah, it was definitely worth coming in the morning. We had a great time and we're just enjoying listening to all the sounds of the area without the crowds. So yeah, I would highly recommend it.
So most of the path is paved, but it's just that bit at the end that's is stepping over uneven ground. There's lots of seating spots and heaps of them have shade on them. So you can just sit back and enjoy the view. The flies have started. It's seven o'clock and we've started to notice the flies have come out. So if you want to avoid the flies, you have to come early. There's so many, I'm scared to talk. You should see the side of your head now. What? So we are all finished up at nature's window and thank goodness we are because those flies were next level and we were only there for the shortest time like from seven o'clock they started appearing and then on that walk that 500 meter walk back they just got crazy yeah i'm so glad we went early and avoided as many flies as we could just from seven o'clock they started coming kangaroo i've never seen a kangaroo that hi kangaroo oh look that one's got a joey where you can see the bulge in his pouch you see him? Now we're going down to see the pelican feeding um, at 8.45. Alright, so we're finished with the pelican feeding. They said that they get up to 15 pelicans showing up, but because it's around mating season, we only had one. Um, they told us a bit about the birds first, and then they let all the children feed them. But because there was only one bird and about 20 children, by the time it reached our kids, the bird was a bit full and didn't actually eat them. So yeah, so now we're gonna probably go have a bit of a relaxing morning and then later on we might go for a swim at the blue holes so we are at the blue holes in Calberry which is supposed to be a really nice place for swimming because it's um, blocked off from the waves and it's supposed to have a lot of fish in the area as well so we're gonna go and check that out and do some snorkeling
So we finished up at the Blue Holes. It was really good. It's like a massive rock pool and it's got lots of little fish that the kids can explore and um, they come up to you if you stay still. So yeah, it was really fun. This is all done for the day. Um, we're just gonna pack up some stuff and get ready to leave in the morning. We're gonna go to Geraldton in the morning and do some stuff over there. And yeah, it's been fun times and I think the kids are a bit tired and they're ready to go to bed. Yes?